All right, I'm going to talk about converting decimal numbers to binary. And we're going to use the first method right here. So this is method one. The first method, I'm going to start out by looking at what are our numbers in binary. So we've got 1, 28, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, Two and one. So let's take the number, let's see, take the number nine. We're going to convert it into binary. So we look at it. Well, how many zeros, or not how many zeros, how many times can you subtract 128 from nine? Well, you can't. You actually can't subtract any of these top four. You can only subtract eight, so we'll say we need an eight. So the first Four, we can't subtract from nine, so zero, 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 zero. And then we'll subtract an eight. So we'll put a one here. No, nine minus eight equals one. So can we subtract four from that? No, we can't. So we'll put a zero. Can we subtract two? No, we can't. Put a zero here. And we'll subtract, can we subtract one? And yes, we can. So minus one equals zero. So then the binary representation of 9 would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So that's how you could do it, that method. Let's try another number now. And let's cut that. Okay. So let's check the number 75. 75. It's a little bigger number than 9. Should give us more work with. Alright, so can we subtract 128 from that? No, we cannot. Can we just subtract 64? Well, actually, yes, we can. So we do 75 minus 64. And that gives us, should give us, uh, what, 11? So now we have 11. Well, can we subtract 32 from 11? No, we cannot. Can we subtract 16? No, we cannot. Can we subtract 8? Yes, we can. So minus 8. And that will give us 3. All right. So now, we'll look at it. Can we subtract 4? Well, no, we cannot subtract 4 from 3. But can we subtract 2? Yes, we can. So minus 2 equals, see that equals 1. We subtract 1 from that, minus 1 equals 0. So now this is 75 in binary. Let's get a much bigger number now so we can see how it goes. So let's pick, let's see, the number. 234. That's a nice big number. 234. All right. Let's look at this. Can we subtract 128 from this? Well, actually, yes, we can. So we subtract 128. Then we have to figure this nice big complex math problem. So we subtract 128. We're left with uh, what is 106, I believe. All right, so we got 106. Can we subtract 64 from that? Yes, we can. So minus 64 equals something. Let's put a 64 right here. So 64 from that, we have 42, I guess. 42. So we'll look at the next one. Can we subtract 32 from that? Yes, we can. So put a 32 there, minus 32. And that equals 10. Now we're in easy numbers. Can we subtract 16? No, we cannot. Can we subtract 8? Yes, we can. So subtract 8 from that. We're left with 2. Can we subtract 2 from that? Well, no. I mean, 4, we can not subtract that. We can subtract 2. So minus 2 equals 0. And we cannot subtract 1 from 0, so we put a 0 there. 
So now we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And that is 234 in binary.